Hi, this is Joe Burzak from Cars.com. This is the 2013 Honda Civic. Now, this is the Civic that should have came out in 2012 when the Civic was all new. The 2012 wasn't a bad car, it was just kind of boring and didn't have a real edge in value like the Civics had previously. Honda went back to the drawing board and significantly changed the car inside and out and underneath. So let's take a look at what they changed and if they pulled it off. Honda really outdid itself on the inside where there are significant standard features in the base model. Now with destination, you're looking about the high $18,000 range for an LX, which is now the base trim level. So for $160 more than last year, you get a backup camera, Bluetooth, Bluetooth streaming audio, and numerous advanced smartphone integrations, if your phone's compatible, that is, like Pandora streaming internet radio, and text message features where a text message will read out loud through the car stereo. Like I said, your phone has to be compatible. Even though these are higher end features in a compact car as standard equipment, they're not done shabbily. They're executed very nicely. The backup camera has a very high quality display, but it doesn't have backup sensors or guidance lines that change with the steering wheel. Now the rest of the high-tech features like the smartphone integration with Pandora and the text messaging, those also work very well. And it's easy to sync up your phone to do that. And not a lot of cars make it as easy as the Honda. Cars come reviews the 2013 Honda Civic. Along with the new features, there are significant changes in how the interior looks. There's new higher quality materials and an overall more cohesive look than before. Now they really focused attention on the center stack area. This is all new. Every button is new. It's more stylized and of higher quality. The Civic Safety has also been increased with new front subframe that uh, better protects in front end collisions. And that's paid off because the 2013 Civic earns the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety's most prestigious safety award and that's their top safety pick plus which includes the small front overlap test which is proving very difficult for a lot of cars to pass. Honda did a great job classing up the front and rear styling. You can see more about what's changed in our 2012 Los Angeles Auto Show video but there's one area that just doesn't quite match the rest of the styling and that's the wheel cover on the base LX. It doesn't do a good job of hiding the ugly steel wheel behind it. Now all the other trim levels get alloy wheels, uh, but this is a, an easy change. When it was redesigned in 2012, the Civic lost a lot of its fun to drive character. Now Honda aimed to put that back into the Civic for 2013 with an all new suspension. And while this one isn't quite as fun to drive or as tossable as the Mazda 3 or Ford Focus or Dodge Dart, it is much better controlled than a 2012. Whereas the 2012 would lean really badly in corners, the 2013 has an initial lean and then it settles really quickly. And it's much more composed and much more fun to drive than the 2012. The 2013 is much quieter than the 2012 on the highway as far as wind and road noise. And that's on purpose. Honda added thicker glass up front and numerous sound absorption materials around the cabin and in the back to quiet the highway wind noise. And it works. It's a much quieter experience and more pleasant to drive at 60, 70 miles an hour. The 2013 Civic is the same great big compact car on the inside, especially in the back with its flat floor with no hump for exhaust. Uh, these dimensions are unchanged from 2012. Now fully loaded with value and style, the 2013 Civic is back on top of its game, ready to take on the best in the segment. 